What's going on combat sports fans? Welcome to Joe's Madness. If you're new to the channel and you have a passion for combat sports and love MMA, punch that subscribe button into submission and make sure to take a moment and share the video with your family and friends. And if you enjoy this video, slap that like button like a pimp like you mean it and make sure to let us know down below in the comment section what you think about the video. Negative or positive feedback is always welcome and let me know if you agree with my prediction or not for UFC 212 prediction and preview for Antonio Carlos Jr. versus Eric Spicely. This one is going to be a really, really fun fight in the middleweight division as both of these guys have a very impressive submission game and takedowns. Uh, I believe that's where this fight will end up going is to the ground. Both these guys will stand up a little bit and I believe it won't take long before they end up on the ground and somebody gets submitted. There will be some scrambling, possibly, but then maybe if somebody gets that backpack locked up and wrapped around him and turned into a duffel bag, he might end up submitting that man pretty quick. But well, both guys have submission defenses pretty wild as well. So I am going to be going with my prediction here with Eric Spicely to win this one by submission in the first round before both of these guys get massively sweaty as they'll be dry in the first round. Uh, Spicely is really nasty with his... Uh, you know, submission game. He has got several wins. He's got 10 wins with one loss. It says here uh, on Sure Dog UFC says he's got 10 wins with two losses. And uh, Carlos Jr. He's got well, Antonio Carlos Jr. He's got eight wins with two losses. And Sure Dog has it as seven and two. So interesting how they have it differently. But uh, so Eric has got two wins by KO, TKO, six by submission, two by decision. He's lost one time by submission, and that lone loss comes from Sam Alvey, the smiling one, by UFC Fight Night 91 by Guillotine Choke. And for Carlos Jr., he's got five wins by submission, two by decision. He's never KO'd or TKO'd anyone, and he's never been submitted in his pro career. He has been KO'd, TKO'd before and lost by a decision once. He, um, so if Eric Spicely does submit him, it'll be a history-making prediction, a uh, history-making moment in the UFC and in his pro career by being submitted for the first time if Carlos Jr. gets submitted which I'm calling for Eric Spicely to be the first man ever to do that. Uh, for him, his losses come from Dan Kelly by TKO at UFC Fight Night 85 and Patrick Cummings at UFC Fight Night 58 by unanimous decision. He does have a uh, rear naked choke victory over Eric Gordon, uh, Leonardo Guamaris, or however you say his last name, uh, by rear naked choke, and then... His last fight at UFC 207, he got a unanimous decision over Marvin Veritari. Uh, he has a armbar submission, two arm triangle submissions, um, arm triangle chokes, I mean, uh, for Antonio Carlos Jr. For Eric Spicely, he has got an arm triangle choke victory, rear naked choke, uh, arm bar, heel hook, guillotine choke, uh, make that two rear naked chokes. So he has a duffel bag full of submissions he can pull out on you. Uh, I was very surprised he did not end up winning the Ultimate Fighter season that he was in with Season 23. He is very impressive, and I'm looking forward to seeing him fight, and I believe he's going to pick this one up by submission in the first round. If you agree with me, let me know down below in the comment section, and if you disagree with me, let me know how you think Antonio Carlos Jr. will win, unless you think Eric Spicely will win by decision or KO, TKO. And make sure to slap that like button like a pimp like you mean it if you enjoy this video and you like our prediction. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to take a moment and punch that subscribe button into submission. Thanks for watching. Combat Sports is awesome, and you guys are amazing.